Welcome everyone to the video. Today, again, we talk with Danny Bossa about testosterone replacement therapy. And we'll make this one an, my first month on TRT video. So Danny will talk about his first month, what you can expect in general and so on. So go ahead, Danny. Welcome to this channel. I am Dr. Steven de Vos, the lifting dermatologist, and this is my bro science hunting partner, Danny Bossa. If you want to learn more about the most cutting edge science-based information in the world of hormone optimization, please like and subscribe. Click the bell button to get notified. I also invite you to join my other YouTube channel, The Lifting Dermatologist. The link you can find in the description of this video. Hey Steven, how are you? Doing good? All fine, thanks. Great, great. Um, so, uh, Steven asked me to do this video about what my experience was after a month of TRT. And it was a long time ago, but I remember it pretty clear. So I'm going to try to explain it as best as, best as I can. When I started off, um, the whole process of determining that I, I needed to be on TRT, that in itself took a very long time because doctors were saying, oh, you're fine. You know, this is the range and you're only just slightly below the range and it's not enough below the range to warrant treatment. So it took me a little bit of time to realize you can do that through the, med the um, public health care system. You had to go private. And even when I went private, the first doctors I saw were a little bit clueless on how this stuff worked, even though they said that they knew how it worked. So um, when I started, I started on Androgel and I started on five grams of, of Androgel per day. So what happened when I started? I remember uh, being very excited about getting to start. I went to the pharmacy, I got my prescription, I had my little box of my androgel, my little sacks, little gel caps or gel sacks or whatever you want to call them. And I got home and I was going to start the next day and I said, I want to try today. I want to, I want to see how this stuff is going to make me feel. And I remember slathering the, you know, the gel, you're supposed to slather on your arms and your upper chest and make sure it's really properly in and try to get as much of it off your hands as possible into your skin. Um, and I recall having just a little bit of anxiety. I used to get panic attacks in my mid twenties. I had anxiety and panic in my mid twenties. So I'm, I, I, growing up, I was, I was kind of prone to that stuff. And just the sense, the feeling of not knowing what effect this stuff was going to have on me. Was I going to like feel like all ramped up and like aggressive and like, Oh yeah, I'm a real man. And I'm on the testosterone and you know, like, I was expecting something fairly immediate to happen, almost like drinking a cup of coffee or drinking an espresso. So I put it on. I remember it was very late afternoon and I was still waiting for that sensation to kick in. Nothing was really kicking in. I thought maybe it was going to keep me up that night. It didn't. Uh, the next day again, slathered it on again and just kept waiting for something to occur. And nothing was really occurring. So my whole experience with TRT was at the beginning uh, started with five grams of Androgel, then I bumped, we bumped it up to seven and a half grams of Androgel. Uh, that was never having any effect on me at all. Then we took a compounded cream. And I know you guys have all heard of the transcrotal cream that we talk about often on this channel, but we didn't apply, didn't apply it there. Again, it was applied to the arms, upper chest. And same thing every time I would do that. And I just kept waiting and I was getting frustrated because I was finally getting the medication that I thought was gonna fix my problems and it really was having no effect. And it was at that point that um, we decided we we're gonna start with injections. So I'm gonna talk about my one month of experience of TRT. Once we started on the injections, which was you know, an, an actual proper dose and proper protocol, if you will, that was actually gonna give me some kind of improvement. When I gave myself that first shot, <laughs> when I gave myself, I'm gonna remember this like I'm gonna remember it for the rest of my life. So I was, absolutely petrified of needles. The sight of a needle would make me faint. I, I, I just look at someone getting a needle, I'd turn white and I'd pass out. And I knew that this was going to be the best way to, give, to get, my, get my TRT. Um, you know, I had, we'd already planned it out that uh, we were going to do uh, ventrogluteal uh, IM injections. I hadn't even really knew, known about subcutaneous injections at that point. And I had to lie down on the couch and my wife would just inject me into the, the ventricular muscle. And I just remember that feeling of lying on the couch and you're, 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 you're scared of what's to come and I'm gonna get 
jabbed with a syringe that's got this chemical that's going to cause this reaction in me. And I remember just in the fetal position, naked on the couch, and she just stick me. And, and it, it didn't even hurt all that much, but in my mind, I made it out to be like a hundred times worse than it was. And I'm, and I'm just thinking like, ah, oh, is it over? Is it over? And is it over? And she's, you know, we used the smallest needle we could because I didn't want to use anything big. And when you use a small needle, it takes a long time to push that, that oil through. So those injections took a while. So now I got this, you know, chemical that I've literally injected. So I'm ruling out the fact that, you know, maybe I wasn't absorbing it through my skin and maybe it was this, maybe that. Now it's actually in my body. So I started the whole process over of waiting for this thing to, to occur, waiting for this feeling, waiting for an improvement. And it didn't come. And we were doing twice weekly injections. And we did those for about three weeks. And then she said that, okay, well, you're going to have to do this yourself. And then I started uh, researching all the different types of methods of administration. And I realized that I, I could not do the IM myself because I was just too much of a chicken. I was going to do sub Q. So around the third week, I loaded up a syringe, 30 gauge needle. I'm lying down on the bed and I have the needle and I have my shirt off and, and I said, okay, just got to push it through the belly fat. Just got to push it through the belly fat. And, and it's the strangest thing ever of trying to stab yourself with a needle once you've never done that. It's you, you're telling your arm that you got to do this and, and, and it just doesn't happen. Your, your hand is like, no, this, I'm not doing this. And you're like, come on, just, just push that needle through. It's, it's going to be okay. And your hand is like literally talking to you. So like, no, I'm not this is stupid. And I, I sat, lied on my bed for two and a half hours. I kid you not until I finally said, Hey, you want to get better? You got to get, you know, just get it done. And I just thought of all the problems that I was having, how it was affecting my relationship, how it was affecting my, my mood and how it was affecting my business, affecting everything. I was like, Hey, just like, stop being a wuss and get it done. And I pushed it through and I gave myself the injection and, uh, and that's it. And I wasn't expecting anything at that point, but once I got a, past a month and, uh, and I might even say it was a little bit past a month, I think it was somewhere around the fifth week, I started feeling little bits of improvement. The first thing I started to feel was my mood was getting better. So, at the beginning, when I started taking this stuff, I thought it was going to have an immediate effect and it didn't. And I was, I was just waiting for it. And I was getting frustrated that it wasn't having immediate effect. I was thinking, like I said, drink a coffee, you know, and everything is, uh, everything's going to be better by tomorrow. And this stuff just doesn't work that way. So people that say, Oh, I give myself my injection and I feel it right away. I, it, no, <laughs> it's, it's, it's going to be mostly psychosomatic. It's going to be you just, I put something in and now I, I know that it's doing something and it just doesn't work that way. The levels take time to go up in the body. And once they go up in the body, they have to take the, have the time they need to exert the effects on the body. And this isn't something that takes place very long. So for all of you guys that are starting off on TRT and expecting this immediate result, immediate improvement, like you want to think like you injected water inside you. Like you're not, don't expect anything to happen. Don't expect a feeling. Don't expect like, Oh, I have, I'm getting erections again, or it's going to take time. So about the fourth, fifth week or so, I started noticing my, the first thing was my mood was better. And I was noticing that my sleep was better. Those were the two things probably that hit me first above all else. And I'd say probably by the sixth week, I started noticing the, uh, the morning wood. If you guys know what, that, what I'm talking about, when your little friend is up before you are in the morning, that's usually a really good sign that your hormones are where they need to be. Okay. So that's, it's, it's a, it's a barometer, if you will, for men's overall hormonal health. If you wake up in the morning and you've got an erection, you know, when you wake up in the morning, that's a really good sign that things are where they should be. If you're not waking up with an erection, and I'm not talking about I'm waking up with desire. It's really a, a, a reflexive, uh, a, a, you know, it, it, it just, kind of happens automatically. It's not something that you're willing to happen. It's happening before you even wake up. If it's not happening, that's when you know that something's off somewhere. Mm -hmm. um, so I started noticing that happening probably by the sixth week. And I started noticing that he was behaving a little bit better. So all you guys starting on TRT, if you say, you know, it's been a week, I, I'm not feeling much. It's been two weeks. I'm not feeling much or three or even four. You got to understand you got to wait a good five or six weeks for this stuff to take effect. 
Okay. It's not, it's not going to hit you fast. It's not going to hit you in a couple of weeks. So don't get frustrated. The key is that you're getting a proper dose right up front. There's a lot of doctors out there that are going to start you off with like, you know, if they're going to do injections, they might say, Hey, we'll start you off at hundred milligrams a week. And then we'll test you in six, in six weeks. And if you're not feeling wetter, well, then we'll bump you up to 120 and then we'll test you in six weeks. And if you're not feeling better and we'll bump you up maybe to 130 and they, they start really, really low and they just gradually, and they keep bringing you back in the office and charging and charging and charging and then blood labs and charging and charging and charging until you're finally up at a proper dose. Uh, most of the guys that I know will start at a proper dose immediately. So a good starting dose for TRT and maybe you guys are going to disagree with this, but um, I, I just, I, I have, too many emails and too many messages to demonstrate that what I'm saying is true. You want to start off with 200 milligrams a week. If you start off at a proper dose, you'll get yourself feeling a lot better. And if it turns out that it's a little bit too much, you can always lower it down after. I see very few guys that ever really feel the need to lower it uh, after that. Some guys are really sensitive to this stuff and they need a lot less. I got a good friend of mine who does great on 140 a week and his levels are like completely through the roof. I need like twice as much as him to get that. So that's really the first thing you want to you do. If you want to make a proper assessment, what were my results after a month of TRT? Make sure you're starting at a, a proper dose. And uh, uh, also another thing we say in the group of very uh, on the channel very often is, if you can, you want to administer this stuff as often as possible. If you're going to do once a week, uh, you're going to see that you're eventually going to feel a little bit good at the beginning of the week, and then it's just going to kind of trail off, and you're going to have kind of ups and downs overall. You're going to want frequent injections to try to keep those levels as consistent as possible. When consistent as possible, everything else falls into balance around it. And that's when you're going to have that little bit better sense of, of well-being. So that was something I was able to kind of get done pretty early on. Um, that helped a lot. When I was doing the weekly shots, that just never worked out. So um, to all you guys out there, if you're saying, you know, it's been a month, I'm not feeling it, what's going on? You may have to wait a little bit longer. And you may have to really look at, am I getting a proper dose? Am I administering this properly? Sub Q where I am is fine. They're, they're pretty much interchangeable. There's not a huge difference between the two. Um, but try to just do it frequent as possible. If you're doing injections, you want to get a good 200 milligrams a week. Or if you're doing daily shots, maybe 30 milligrams a day for a total 210. And like I said, you can always lower from there. If you're doing the scrotal cream, make sure it's a, a proper Versa base, lipoderm base, um, 200 um, milligrams per, per gram. And you want to be taking a good starting dose would be 100 milligrams uh, twice a day is a good starting dose there. So if you got, say, my doc started me off at 50 milligrams a day, I'm sorry, that's just probably going to do more harm than good. Um, so once you've gotten into about the fifth, fourth, fifth, sixth weeks, that's when you should start seeing some of the benefits kicking in. Like I was saying, after my month, better sleep, better mood. Uh, a little bit more energy, uh, morning wood. And like I said, my friend was, uh, was uh, behaving, he's he listening to me. And I said, you know, we're going to do something now. He's like, okay. It was happening a little bit more and more. You know, sometimes he would still say no and ignore me. Uh, but sometimes he was listening, which was pretty cool. So um, okay. that's, that was my one month on TRT. Okay. Thank you so much, Danny, for your testimony. You're welcome.